So now we are actually taking off. Or should we actually go and explore some place? What do you say? Maybe North Pole. Let's travel there just because we can. Wow, there's huge amount of stuff. Landing area. I mean I mean apparently they are there are uh, human settlements that are littering this place. That's any experience from Completing flora by complete. Okay, no, no, I know that I don't need to actually go and uh, and and find find the find uh, new plants because it's actually telling me that I found everything. That this seems to be active base. Okay, it's a pirate. I don't think you are stealthy. Wow, this is large, large base. Robot model. Oh, it's a robot. Vasco will de deal with the turret, or I need to de deal with it. So this must be like crafted location that's like randomly spawned according to some algorithm to sit to this location here. I think I'm getting good loot. Get this as like
I suppose some quests are going to... Varun scripture. Is it notes on? Yes. Scripture of the Great Serpent inspect. Permanently increase. Okay, so it's it's with, with me now. Sli slightly ethereal uh, fallouty feeling about this this game. So basically, pirates are probably using this as a. Refuel. Okay, there's lots of stuff going on. I wonder if we can get inside. No, they had they but just touch off. Pipeline control tower. Epi Eclipse. Unfortunately, I don't, I don't see um, the the messages, so I don't know who, who liked and what, which is annoying. But that's how it some, sometimes is. A rather large mountain here. Reminds me of Star Citizen, but then again, Star Citizen has a like whole planet. You can fly around without loading screens, so. Uh, different technology. Fauna. So there's like three animals I could, I could find. And again, these could be uh, like natural caves. That's a gas. Cave under me, underneath. Yeah, who wants to go in the creepy cave? Okay, loading screen. Remembers a bit about sand caves in Star, uh, Star Citizen. Dunk pile. Hmm. Who's doing this dung here? That's hosta.
Okay, small small cave like structures here. Which you can actually <laughs> get lost to. Okay. You can actually see the see the which way is the exit. Little cave story. So we went venturing out here. But we can always fast travel back to the ship. And take off. Okay, so Crete is where we were. Vectera is, is actually place where we started, I think, yes. Maybe. Survey eighty percent, ninety percent. So we can we can go and star station, star station. Currently unavailable. I don't know if Dog Star Factory. I'm pondering with myself that should I actually start <laughs> continue with the with the main mission or or stay around and look around. Let's go for landing. wearing spacesuit. So this is the new Atlantis. What? No Barrett? Let me guess. Protocol Indigo again? Don't yep. And here's our new captain. My crew can take a look at your ship, and you can stop by the trade authority kiosk if you need to offload some cargo. The trade authority runs a vending kiosk next to my booth. It's just off to the side, near the ramp. Besides that, Jemison Mercantile is your closest shop if you're looking for a bit of everything. That's further in, past the security checkpoint. Sure, how about it? So I could basically make modifications to this ship. I suppose um, my guesswork is that I'm going to need a bigger jump distance. But yeah, I, this ship could use some something else.
car cargo bay or something. Everything looks good here. I'll be at my booth if you need it. Unprovoked attack on a United Colonies research facility will not go unanswered. We'll get you settled into your new assignments as soon as possible. For you, Bobby, that includes meeting your new foster parent. My parents aren't dead. They just took a different shuttle. I'll see them when they get here. Oh, uh, well, of course, uh, that's sure possible. <laughs> uh, we'll, ju uh, we'll just... <clears throat> Helena Chambers, ID SSCOM 1327HCHA. I was the station administrator. I'll need to report to Mask ASAP for a full debrief. My treatment thus far has been entirely unacceptable. Any authority you had was forfeit the moment House Varun Zealots breached the station's perimeter and you failed to initiate proper evacuation protocols. Uh huh. Thank you for your service. We'll find you a new position commensurate with your experience. And Mr. Bosch, let me just say how honored I am to meet you. By all accounts, you're the only reason anyone made it out of there alive. Well, just glad I still remembered my flight basics. It had been a while. So was shooting a gun. I read all about New Atlantis. So cool! Is it true that the Nat train goes 5,000 miles an hour? Or that citizens get special discounts? Or that the whole city celebrates when it's your birthday? Mine's June 11th, by the way. My parents took me to Aquila City last year. It kind of smelled. But I don't smell anything here. Um, no, yes, no. And I will certainly mark June 11th on my calendar. As for Aquila City, well, the air purifiers here in New Atlantis are state of the art. Ugh, Aquila City? Oh, don't even get me started on those simpletons. A little unfair, don't you think? Three Star Rangers helped me out quite a bit a couple years back. Got ambushed by spacers near Narion. They assisted, no questions asked. Even helped with some repairs so I could do an emergency jump home. Good people. In any event, you all must be exhausted. Just give me a moment to coordinate some details with security. I am May I help you? Uh, I'll, s I'll smell the side quest. Oh, guess you caught some of that, huh? galaxy is at peace and somehow seems more dangerous than ever spacers house varun crimson fleet everyone trying to grab their peace what happened to the early days huh when we just float through the stars and dream <laughs> ain't that the truth well still i hold out hope there are more good people than bad in this galaxy. It's just that the bad are... Oh, louder. Not what, who. How to describe House Varun? Well, imagine a, a bunch of colonists who set off into the stars ages ago, disappeared, and then re-emerged as a sort of religious society. Faction, or cult, whatever you want to call them. They believe in some sort of celestial deity called the Great Serpent. Uh, real nightmare fuel kind of stuff. About a hundred years back, they picked a fight with pretty much everyone in the settled systems. I guess your school never covered the Serpent's Crusade, huh? We eventually made peace, sort of. Then they just disappeared. They're out there, somewhere. Or so folks assume. The ones that attacked us, they were the hardliners, for sure. You meet those guys, you run. You understand me? Really? <laughs> you must have been hiding under a moon rock your whole life if you've managed to dodge those assholes. <sighs> They're basically a bunch of so space basically space pirates. Fly around, attack, and rob anyone they see. They're pretty disorganized and easy to fend off until they aren't. They're a different beast than the Crimson Fleet. 
Generally speaking, pirates want your stuff, so they can occasionally be reasoned with. Spacers, though, they tend to shoot first and ask questions. Okay, spacers are raiders, kind of thing. Yep, that I have. Had to dump a load of cargo just last year. Microscopes, can you believe that? <laughs> Guess you can sell anything these days. Pirates are a tricky lot. In space, they're all about the hit and run. They jump in, steal your stuff, and get out of there fast. Keep your cool, and you can generally talk your way out of it, so long as you're not too attached to your valuables. Stumble upon them planet side, though, and their trigger fingers get much itchier. Ricardo Bosch. I was the lead researcher on the station that got attacked. It was business as usual until those House Varun crazies swarmed in, spouting their scripture or whatever it was. Even the Marines were overwhelmed. Honestly, I'm just lucky to have made it out of there in one piece. We all are. Now, I just want to get back to work. Where is that woman? Another time, then. She not now. Does that woman have any I've never been in a battle before. Everyone kept telling me to keep my eyes closed, but it's kind of hard to do that when you're running. At first, I thought it was ecliptic mercenaries shooting at us, but it wasn't. It was these other people knowing about serpents and stuff. Is that really an appropriate thing to say? <laughs> anyway, I'm fine now. I hope my parents don't take too long getting here. May I help you? Back to the scientist by the tree. We are going to go to the um, uh, constellation project. So let's see. Go to the lodge. A bit of star, uh, star Citizen vibes here. Okay. No uh, thanks for following. But for, before that I'm going to go to the shop. To you, to me, some American, American dog. Bounty enjoys this establishment. He frequently what buys are you doing? chocolate here. Though I have informed him repeatedly, it is likely a significant contributing factor to Wha his what being going? <laughs> always glitching. <laughs> Not sure if those Varun salads live in space or got separated from their home planet or what, but they scavenge what they need. Lots of old facilities left over from the colony war. The lodge is here in the If you don't see what you want, feel free to ask. Hi there. Thanks for stopping in. Feel free to look around. I can take care of transactions, and if you've got questions, just ask. Oh, please, take a look. Vendor by Ace Sidearm. Rare pistol. Point twenty seven. She has lots of armor, space suits. So, yeah, yeah, you could do money by just salvaging and selling stuff. Settler a Adventure hat, space trucker cap, <laughs> cargo wear. Appreciate the business.
Selling art is a bit of an art itself, you know. It takes a strong mind and a good eye to sell art. Indeed, I am. I've been an art dealer for most of my life, plying my trade all across the settled systems. It's actually why I'm here in New Atlantis today. I'll be delivering a piece of art to a very particular client later. However, I don't yet have the art in my possession. Okay. Actually, I think I know where, where this is going. the artwork and bring it back to me? I'll reward you for your effort, of course. You simply need to go pick up some artwork. The exchange has already been arranged and you won't have to show any credits. It's just a matter of picking something up and bringing it back to me. There's really no need to worry. It's all very simple. It always is. I'll do it. Excellent. You'll Apparently there's a huge mind-boggling amount of side authority. missions in this game. Tell her you're there for Samson Jabrail's art. Trade authority. Return the artwork to me and you will be So is this in a uh, same city? Set mission active. For Joe Kaminski. And now it's actually showing me way to the target. So I, I was going the right direction. <laughs> Last go is flying. Okay, let's take the top floor then. Okay, this seems like the place. To go to the lodge. Welcome to the Trade Authority. If you're here on legitimate business, I would be more than happy to help Do you, you. have some kind of hideous yes, art sir, here? You are here under false pretense, say, sent by one Miss Tsang of UC Distribution. Then I'm afraid you'll find nothing illegitimate here to report to her. And I'd ask that you pass along my request to stop these silly games. <laughs> so, what'll it be? Perhaps, but I'm quite confident in my business, and I refuse to be intimidated. Please, let me know if I can assist you further. Ah, uh, yes, I've been expecting you. Here's your package. And don't worry, I've already corrected the ownership record for you. What? <laughs> Good. I'm glad we understand each other. Thanks for your business. Okay. The Trade Authority appreciates your visit. This doesn't look good. Of course it's stolen art. I mean, what, what did, did I think? Of course. People never ask, ask me to do anything legal. I mean, what could go wrong? Everything. Feeling it, it's amazing what passes as art. No. Shh! Are you crazy? Keep your damn voice down. Oh, get off your high horse. I didn't trick you. You're just not very observant. What do you have to complain about? You're getting paid? Everything went smoothly. No one got hurt. It's all part of the game, my friend. It pays to get your hands a little bit dirty. It pays very, very well. But I digress. 
Thank you for your uh, discretion. Now that our little transaction is complete, I should be on my way. Take care, and let's not talk about this again. Goodbye. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I suppose Pedest the developer still have something to do with the AI. The water is quite aesthetically pleasing. Or so Barrett has told me. New Atlantis relies on advanced hydroelectrics for most of its power. I'm sorry, I really can't afford to be distracted. I need to get to the bottom of this. I am not staring, I am analyzing. This is important xenobiological work. So is the, is the, the tree alien. I've been studying this tree for quite some time, and it appears to be exhibiting some worrying signs. Are you familiar with this particular specimen? Do you understand its importance? Look. I have a lot of work to do here. If you're just going to gawk, I'd ask that you move on. If you can actually assist me, however, I would appreciate it. I don't normally solicit help from random passersby, but it seems an exception is necessary. Would you be willing to retrieve some additional data for me? Yeah, sure. Well, that's... Thank you. That's unexpected. Ah. There's a series of biosensors I've placed in various locations around New Atlantis, all calibrated to gather pertinent information. They've been running for long enough that I think it's time to collect and analyze their findings. If you would bring them to me, that would save time. This resembles a bit, a bit a little dangerous and a bit about uh, Star Citizen, like those floating ba uh, platforms in Horizon, they were similar in style. Now oh, there's lots of activities. Hey, are you looking for eggs too? I've only uh, found one so far, but I want to find more before anyone else does. So if you see some, can you tell me? I'm looking for biosensors. Okay, well, if I see any of those, I'll tell you. And you can tell me if you find any eggs. Miss Seng over at UC Distribution bought the one I found, and she said she might buy more if I could find them. I could really use the credits. I hope I'm as cool as Solo and Co. when I grow up. And of course, this wasn't so straightforward. Items may require multiple levels of approval and can take up to several weeks for an official response. We apologize for any delay. Welcome to UC Distribution. Now, before you say a word, I am required to inform you that Bert. complaints cannot be filed until the customer feedback system is back online. I have been told it'll be up and running in two weeks, but you know how these things are. I am sorry for any potential inconvenience. Also, if you're here about a corporate account, I've been assured that deliveries will be back on schedule soon. Who, Jordan? <laughs> that kid's in here every other day with some random thing he found. Trying to get credits. Yeah, I took pity on him. Why, what is it? Oh, really? Well... 
You can have it back for what I paid for it, plus a little extra. Let's ah. call it a convenience fee, shall we? Pleasure doing business with you. Right, right. Come back if you need something else. I appreciate your assistance. So you do. Wonderful. I'll just take these and we'll see what they have to tell us. All right. We'll just upload the data. Give it a moment. And just another moment. <laughs> well, it is working, isn't it? There it is. What a relief. Okay, so what are we looking see, at? This is... Well, it's... Oh my. Okay. Well, there's good news and... Okay, let's take the, the good, good news. news that my suspicions were correct. There is something wrong with the tree. Well, though. I will report my findings to Mast immediately with no small amount of satisfaction. The phrase, I told you so, may even be uttered more than once. Well, from a certain point of view. In an admittedly somewhat selfish manner. The bad news, as it were, is that... The internal composition of the tree is changing. Uh, why? In this particular case, the tree is now regularly emitting ultra-low frequency sound waves. They're nearly imperceptible now, but they're growing in strength. This is something we've never observed before. Depending on how large these waves grow, the consequences for the city could be... Well, disastrous. I must consult with my colleagues in MAST at once. Thank you for your assistance. I hope these credits are adequate compensation. Here we are, the lodge. The front door should unlock if you hold up the watch that Barrett gave you. I have messaged the other members of Constellation. They will be waiting for us inside. Say some open. Welcome to Constellation. We have a lot to talk about. Would you care to tell us what happened to our friend? Why you're here and he isn't? Well, there's a good and bad news. I see. Vasco, verify. All statements made have been factual. Uh, this is just typical. Barrett hands over our ship and our robot to some random employee of that discount mining outfit he uses. Walter. And if we hadn't insisted on installing those emergency protocols, I guarantee you this rock breaker here would be halfway to Neon. But that didn't happen. He's here with the artifact. Thank you, Matteo. Now, let's focus on what's in front of us, shall we? What happened when it was extracted? Did anyone see anything? Hear anything? Interesting. Similar to Barrett's description of the experience, with less... Okay, so Barrett saw something as well. Are you hearing this? Do you all believe me now? Whether it happened or not wasn't in doubt. But honestly, I didn't expect us to believe it. Barrett. If this is the greatest mystery in the universe, why couldn't it be part of the ultimate mystery? But gentlemen, can we please focus? Noel, I 
think it's time we tested your theory. Right. Let's see. We know the artifacts react to each other. The pieces we already have move when they're in close contact. Now, if we add this new one to the two we already have... The artifact. If you could place it on the table here. That's it. Just like the others. And to imagine, you thought there were only two of them at first. Oh my god, that's it. They're reacting. Look at how it's coming together. That energy that's arcing between them, no manufactured material in the settled systems can do that. None of them. This proves Easy, that girl. Breathe. You'll have a hunt attack. She's not the only one. If they're coming together, it means there's a set. Built by an intelligence outside the settled systems. Still 2,000 credits for our little wager, Patrick? You're on, Walter. Well, if we had all the answers, it wouldn't be exciting. Now, would it? Not to take away from the moment, but what are we going to do about our new friend here? <laughs> so, are you ready to get to work? See if exploration is the life you want to lead in this little universe of ours? Individually, they're just odd hunks of metal. Another oddity from the uncharted reaches of space. As to what they are, what they're building, well, you'll be part of solving that puzzle now. So, you don't have a faintest idea. We're all here because we're committed to exploring space. <laughs> Humanity may have settled the stars, but that doesn't mean we should stop diving into the unknown. Beyond that, you'll be expected to use your own judgment, just like the rest of us. You should take some time to get settled in. Introduce yourself to everyone. Some of our members aren't here, but you'll meet them soon. Come find me when you're ready. You and I are going to be doing some traveling together. Get your feet wet. And here. I think you've earned something for bringing the artifact to us. In addition to credits, why don't we set you up with a backpack with some boost capability? Hmm? You'll need it out in the field anyway. Yes. Just mind your head. And we got skill point as well. So, are you ready to get to work? Or was there something else? We're explorers. Humanity has always hunted for knowledge in the unknown. We just take that a little more seriously than others. We were founded decades ago by a man named Sebastian Banks. Banks. He wanted a small group of people from all corners of the settled systems dedicated to the biggest question of all. What's out there? These artifacts could be everything we've been looking for. Another great secret the universe is asking us to unravel. I don't know what you've heard, but I can imagine. First of all, I think you can dismiss any stories about us no longer existing. Hmm? I don't believe in smearing our name everywhere we can. Exploring the universe, charting the unknown, that's what counts. Besides, having a little mystery gives us room to maneuver. A fixed reputation could fence us in a lot of ways. Not much, but you've seen them for yourself. It doesn't take a lot to realize we're dealing with something extraordinary. Just what that is, we'll have to figure out. It's what we do. Bye for now. Your father dropped by. He left a note for you. Here. <laughs> that was intense, wasn't it? The artifacts, I mean. Sorry, this must all be a little overwhelming for you right now. I guess a lot overwhelming, now that I think about it. I'm Noelle. 
It's really nice to meet you. And thank you for bringing Artifact to us. Oh, gosh. No, I mean, that's, that's flattering. But really, we're making this up as we go. Until you arrived, we only had the two. And the vaguest sense that there was something more at work. There's still so much we don't know. And that means a lot of work ahead of us. Of course, there's plenty of planets out there that no one has ever set foot on, and everything we learn about them is valuable. We have a board where we post anything specific we're looking for. A type of alien flora or fauna, or a planet with a specific quality, like if it's primed to have life but doesn't yet. Oh right, that. If we're approaching this rationally, I suppose we'd call them visual and auditory hallucinations. What you perceived as lights and music could be overloaded neural input, your brain's attempt to make sense of something, an energy surge, some other phenomenon. He did. At the time, well, it's Barrett. We weren't sure if he was kidding around. Clearly, he wasn't. Sure, I'm not trying to suggest otherwise. I wasn't there when it happened. I'm just thinking it through. That's okay. Now that this has happened to both you and Barrett, we can know to maybe expect it in the future. Be a little more prepared. We're all in this together now, right? Well, right now, nothing's off the table. Metallurgical analysis, chemical composition. I'm looking at everything. One thing I'm really trying to improve is my overall database of xenobiology. I don't know if it will help in this case, but the more we know about, well, everything, the better off we are, right? Speaking of, if you're going to be out there looking for more artifacts, you're bound to come across some interesting specimens. Anything organic, I'd be happy to take it off your hands. There's a galaxy chock full of resources. The more data I have, the more thorough an analysis I can do. And if it sweetens the deal, I can pay. Pretty well, too. Walter's pockets may not be bottomless, but they are pretty deep. Planning on sticking around, then? Good. I think we can find a spot for you. And along the way, I can give you the very abbreviated tour. Right. So you've seen the library, obviously. Walter's quite proud of the collection, but Mateo has made more than a few contributions. Gardens are out the doors there, if you need a moment of quiet contemplation. Emphasis on the quiet part, at least usually. Let's head upstairs. Sebastian Banks, Constellation's founder, had this place built decades ago. It was a big to-do at the time, but most people in the city have forgotten we're here. I hope you are satisfied with the quarters available to you. So the hunt hunt for, for the artifacts is starting. So this is the bar. Usually no tender, so help yourself within reason, of course. Now let's see about that room. You're in luck. We were almost at max occupancy already, but there's still one room up for grabs. It's been nice having the place so full. Okay, this will be you. Common room on one side, so that'll be quiet, and Mateo on the other side, so maybe a little less quiet. I'm sure Sarah has something planned for each of us, so I'd better get back to it. Don't want to keep her waiting too long. Enjoy! Okay, thanks. Mix Sarah.
So this is the mad scientist lab. Locate crystalline crust in Kumasi. Okay, fully surveyed. That's only thousand. feeling knowing that you've seen something that no one else has that you know something no one else does well I suppose calling you a rock breaker may have been a bit out of line still doesn't excuse it my frustrations lie more with Barrett not the first time his shenanigans have jeopardized one of our ventures not fair of me to take it out on you especially since it would seem he made the right call this time so, let's start over, shall we? Walter Stroud, CEO of Stroud Eklund, member of Constellation, and oft-times grumpy old man. Welcome aboard. By the way, in addition to a place to stay, the Lodge has a wealth of modification and research equipment. Spacesuit customization, pharmaceutical manufacturing, testing alien substances, the whole thing. You can even fashion industrial pieces for large-scale projects. If you don't mind extracting a few raw resources from a nearby planet, that is. I'm a fan of self-reliance, so I encourage you to make use of the tools we have to build what you need. Me? <laughs> Why, I'm the wallet. Someone has to fund all this, and all my success in business doesn't mean much. If I can't put it to good so use. So he basically he's I don't sort of Elon Musk. Of Ms. Morgan, or the smarts of young Mateo. But I can make sure that they have the resources they need. And as you've now seen, those resources aren't being wasted. We're onto something big here. We're most well known for ship manufacture. No expense spared. If you want the best and can afford it, you choose Stroud Eklund. Unfortunately, our success means you'll sometimes see Stroud Eklund ship modules on less than reputable vessels. They covet them. The bastards. I've tried to convince the United Colonies we can help in that regard, but they're married to Deimos Star Yards, and those old salts are stuck in the glory days. Up until very recently, I'd likely have dismissed it as, I don't know, hallucinations. But now, I'm not sure what to think. I don't suppose you have a history of this sort of thing, do you? Yes, I imagined as much. Barrett expressed something similar in his own unique way. I'm no scientist. I leave that to the likes of Barrett and young Noel there. But I think we can all agree there's something unusual going on here. Frankly, this is the most exciting thing that's happened in years. Funny thing about companies, if you build one sturdy enough, it doesn't need you there all the time to prop it up. Stroud Eklund functions quite well on a day-to-day -day basis, leaving me time to devote to more esoteric suits. For years, I was captivated by the writings of Constellation's founder, Sebastian Banks. I finally decided to do something more than admire from a distance, and so now I call the Lodge home as much as anywhere else. Goodbye. Ask if you've got questions. 
Speak up if you have ideas. We're all here Walter, for the same reason. Walter, you don't have reason. to answer this, but... Are you doing okay? I'm not sure anyone really asked yet. Don't want you to think we're focused on the artifacts and nothing else. You matter too. You've done something really significant bringing that artifact here. I'm Mateo, theological scholar by trade, but now, well, an explorer like you. It's really good to have you with us. My second one was on Kazal, buried the same as the one you found. Kazal. But the first one. Right under our noses for years, sitting in storage, masquerading as an oversized paperweight. Can you imagine potentially the greatest discovery in human history collecting dust? I'm not gonna lie, I really wish I could have seen this for myself. It's hard to judge otherwise. Both you and Barrett saw something. I don't think that's a coincidence. Did it feel like it was trying to tell you something? I don't want to necessarily use the words divine revelation, but, you know, if the label fits. Okay, that's all right. Maybe you weren't supposed to. Maybe it'll make sense later. We're going to get to the bottom of this. We just need more data, which means more artifacts. Well, there was some overlap in interests. I'd spent years searching for religious relics from human history. I had made a really incredible discovery only to lose it to a greedy corporation. So I tried to steal it back. In the process, I met Walter. Turned out he owned the corporation. After a long talk, we realized we had a lot in common and I was invited to join Constellation. Take care of yourself. Well, I suppose that's station order. Ready to get out there? We're going to be doing some old-fashioned detective work. The artifacts are relatively inert once they're out of bedrock. That means people can pass them around, not even knowing what they are. I've been letting my contacts know to be on the lookout for strange metal objects. Get back a lot of noise, usually, but a tip from the UC Vanguard sounds promising. A volunteer force that helps defend the edges of United Colonies space. They're always looking for recruits. Lots of retired veterans and dangerous professionals mixed in with part-timers who barely have a laser cannon welded to a hull. My contact is in the recruiting office, so he hears a lot about what the volunteers are up to. We have to assume that we're not the only ones to have stumbled into this mystery. But most people aren't going into space looking for the unknown. They're looking for places to settle, resources to extract, territory to defend. An odd-looking rock or a single strange hunk of metal wouldn't mean much to them. That's why Constellation exists, in a way. To put pieces like this together. You've done this before, eh? Wise words. We watch each other's backs. We'll be fine. But it's not just that. I want to take this opportunity to see how you handle yourself, and for you to learn more about us. I'm going to be sticking with you for this. We'll be traveling together until we either find an artifact, or this lead runs dry. You mean, besides the ship, the robot, and a place to stay all rent-free? Well, we that sounds good. We can disperse from time to time. Not to mention, I think we can get you a proper suit. We're explorers. We keep a lot of equipment on hand for that purpose. So the more you work with us, the more we can share what we have. We'll need to head to Mast. Check in with the Vanguard recruiting office where my contact works. And listen. Whatever you were before, or whatever you do once you're out there, I don't care. So long as you don't bring UC security to our doorstep. Yeah. Every member of Constellation is their own conscience. Understood? Good. Let's take a little stroll through New Atlantis, shall we?
online and at your service, Captain.